guilty on this, but let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and let's just get the blunt of history and see if we can bring it home for him. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now the Lord said he was going to bring us into Egypt. Egypt is a Greek word according to Exodus 20 and verse 2. You can reference this. Which means slavery or bondage or captivity. Read on. So God said he's going to bring us into slavery. Read on. Again. What? Again. A second time. Read on. With ships. What? With ships. How did the so-called Negroes, the true children of Israel, get into slavery again? In what? With cargo slave ships. Prophecy about us, the prophecy that we fulfilled. Really. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Shall what? See it no more again. Our homeland, we haven't seen that since we came here in cargo slave ships. Wait. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Read it again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. There you shall be sold unto your enemies. Read on. For bond men, for bond men, and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Who bought and sold us here in America? Don't well, tell me a bunch of people. Yes. Alright, I'm going to just stop it out. Right here, the Ku Klux Klan are with the out of people. Those are Caucasians. Those men right there with their three feet on that brother's back, those are what? So-called Caucasians. You, your forefathers bought and sold us here in the Americas to bring it home for you since, you know, whenever we bring up slavery, what happened in the 1600s, 1500s, 1400s, that's when you have people get amnesia all of a sudden like they don't know what happened. Now go to Isaiah 14 and verse 1. Isaiah 14 and verse 1 and 2. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them, and what? And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place. That's what's going to eventually end up happening in the future. I'm going to let another brother get John 3, 16, 40 in a second. Read on. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. And what? And the house of Israel shall possess them possess them in the land of the Lord. Every other nation. You wonder what God is going to do in the future? And then every other nation is going to go into captivity because that's what the scriptures read. And the reference to that is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9 and 10. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. But then I'm going to bring up another part to finish answering your question. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to answer your question right now. John 3.16. That's the famous, the famous scripture that uh, people want to bring up. Because God loved everybody. Okay, let's read that. Go ahead. For God so loved the world. Okay, so God so loved the world. Right? What God? Let's find out what God is talking about. Let's go to uh, Exodus chapter 3 verse 15. Hold on, hold on, I'm breaking it down for you right now. Just hold on. Got no patience. Let's go to uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. Go ahead. And God said, Moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, be the Lord God of their fathers, we, the God of Abraham. The God of who? Abraham. Well, I thought he was the God of anybody. The God of Abraham. See, he's the God of Abraham, we, the God of Isaac. The God of Isaac, we, and the God of Jacob. And the God of Jacob. See, that was the God they were talking about. That's the God of the Israelites. Okay, okay. Now let's go to uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 13. See, it wasn't talking about uh, the God of everybody. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. That was the God of the Israelites. Because it's all, it's all, it's all to God. You got to have patience. Okay, now let's go to Acts chapter 3, verse 13. Go ahead. The God of Abraham. The God of who? Abraham. The God of the The God of Abraham, right? The Lord of Isaac. And of Isaac, come on. The Lord of Jacob. And the God of Jacob. See, the God of Israel. The God of the people on this side right here. The, the, the people of Negro, Indian, and Hispanic descent. Okay? The Israelites. Okay, now let's go back to John 3, 16. Come on. For God so loved the world. We got that God so loved the world, right? Really. Really? But we got, you just found out what God was talking about. The God of Abraham, but it was the God 
God of Abraham, I'm going to give you, I'm going to just hold your point. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Read. For he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So now let's go to Malachi. Let's hold the point. Let's go to Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. Let's go to Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. You have too many points that I don't have any points. You said John 3.16, now I'm asking you a question. Okay, now let's read that. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1 and 2. The burden of the word of the Lord, burden of the word of the Lord, read, to Israel. To who? Israel. God's talking to the Israelites. Read. All right, Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. See, now God said he loves Read again from the top. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. See, God said he loves what you know he loves. Read. I have loved you, said the Lord. See, God, he loves Israel, the Israelites, the people of New York, the soldier part. And he said, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Esau. Now, you know what Esau is? Esau is the biblical man. There's a biblical man for the so-called Europeans. The white, the white race, the Europeans are called Esau in the Bible. Anytime you see Esau or Edo, it's talking about the, your whole generation of people. Okay, we set the Lord. Yeah, I have loved to Jacob. See that? We can find a very good verse. Two. Read it again. I have loved you, said the Lord. God loves the Israelites, read. Yeah, he say, Where in hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Read. Yeah, I love Jacob. I'm not going to go are in thy room. See, two nations. See, Esau was one nation, and Jacob was another nation. Two nations, we. And two manner of people shall be separated. See that? Two manner of people. See? The blacks like to chill, but what the so-called Caucasians like to do? They like to go mountain climbing. They like to go hunting. See? Two manners, two nations of people, we shall be separated. And wait a minute. God thought they were supposed to be uh, integrated. Shall be separated. No, no, but God said integrated. Separated. Separated. See, that's what God said. So the, that's the bottom line. No, let me ask you a question now. I just asked you the question. You are not an Israelite because you're two different nations of people. Okay? Now, go ahead. From thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. We already know who's the strongest. Okay, we prove that time and time over again. We're the best in football. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're going to go back to John. We're going to go. No, no, just hold on. Let me finish John 3.16. Now we're going to go back to, uh, let's go to Hebrews uh, chapter 1 and verse 2. Because you asked questions about the world. Now we're going to find out about the world. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2. Because you asked the question now, I'm asking you a question. And you can't be trying to talk at the same time I'm trying to answer your question. Because you're not just starting to cause confusion, okay? Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2. Read. God, who has said hard times in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom we have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Wait a minute. He made the what? The worlds. See, worlds. That's what we know. There's more than one world. So when he said world in John 2.16, that was one world, but then you have worlds like your world world right now. Because you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't. So, so that word world, W-O-R-L-D-S. Okay, now let's go back Sounds to like John 3. Sounds like Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. See, you're going to try to talk the same time I'm trying to talk again. You guys, you got to be patient. Okay, now let's go back to John 3.16, and we're going to find out what world... Was that a poor world? What does it mean? Okay, read that, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Okay, now spell that world. W-O-R-L-D. See, that's singular. So that means he's talking about one world. He's not talking about the whole world. Okay, now we're going to find out about that world. Now, let's go John, uh, St. John chapter 17 and verse 9. We're going to uh, St. John chapter 17 and verse 9. We're still, I'm still answering your question. See, we can't answer two questions at the same time. We're still answering asking your question on John 3.16. You ask the question, now you have to be patient enough to stand and get the answer for your question. Okay? You don't want a dialogue. 
I play for them. Just I play not for the world. Just see that? He plays for them. He plays not for the world. See, he don't play for the whole world. He's playing for the Israelites, right? But for them, we shall have kingdom, for they are thine. See, that's who Christ is praying for, the ones that he was given, that were given him were the Israelites. Is that the end of that scripture? Okay, now, let's go to, back to John 3.16. We're going back to John 3.16. Okay, let's read that. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, so now, we're going to answer that question again. Whosoever. Okay, with that, uh, we're going to, have to, we're going to have to, uh, that's the end right there. So, uh, we're going to, have to, we're going to catch us next Friday. Come back next Friday. Okay, so, with that is your, we're going to, we're located at 3116 Emerson Avenue, North Minneapolis. Okay, right across the street from the Solo Grocery Store. And uh, all races are welcome. Today is the Sabbath. White people, black people, everyone's welcome. That's why welcome. we have to leave, because we're still keeping God's Sabbath day. Which starts at our church at 7 o'clock p.m. We're going to be opening our Sabbath service, so we got to get back. Over north side. Okay. Hey, yeah, we welcome, but again, we wasn't done with that yet. Okay. We'll come back again. We down here every Friday from three to uh, p.m. to six p.m. Right. So come back with your I'm, questions. I'm from out of state, but you're running to us out of state too. Yeah, I'm New York, Philly, NC, all that. Yeah. I don't care.